What's good everyone, so I have watched Back to Black and I'll be up front. I'm not an expert on Amy Winehouse, I'm not an expert on her personal life and career. I know some details here and there, but yeah, let's just say <laughs> I'm not an expert. However, what I can say confidently is that I have always enjoyed her music. So going into this movie, I was eager to learn and gain a deeper appreciation for her talent as a musician. So with that in mind, should you add Back to Black to your watch list? So this movie follows the life and music of Amy Winehouse through the journey of adolescence to adulthood and the creation of one of the best-selling albums of our time. So prior to watching this movie, this clip, it hit social media and my gosh, the backlash it received, it was crazy. And even I was skeptical about this movie from this clip. But after watching this film, I can say it's not a terrible movie, but it's not amazing. And it is a missed opportunity. When it comes to the story, we're presented with the familiar narrative of the rise of a legend. In contrast to the recent Bob Marley One Love film, which focused on a specific segment of Bob Marley's life, Back to Black follows Amy from her early days as a North London jazz musician in the early 2000s to her ascent as a Grammy winning singer. Having watched this film, I believe it would have been more fulfilling to dedicate more time to exploring the creation of the Back to Black album rather than attempting to encapsulate Amy's entire life within a two hour runtime, which is a formidable challenge given her complex story. From what we understand of Amy, it's unrealistic to encompass all of her experiences in such a brief time frame. It simply doesn't do her justice. My primary concern with the narrative of Back to Black is its tendency to skim over what truly makes Amy an exceptional artist. Instead, it leans towards a portrayal of her life steeped in trauma. And yes, you know, she did endure significant challenges, but Amy was way more than her struggles. While the film offers glimpses into her musical inspirations, it fails to delve deeply into this element of Amy. There's a noticeable absence of scenes depicting the creations of her songs, which I would have found immensely captivating if they were included. Although pivotal figures like Mark Ronson are mentioned, they're nowhere to be seen in this film. There's no interactions with Amy in this movie, which I found quite shocking. The film predominantly focuses on Amy's vices, drinking, smoking, drug use, and conflict. And while these moments were undoubtedly part of her life, I felt that the focus on these elements was excessive and I would have preferred if other aspects of Amy's life were highlighted more prominently throughout the film. Shifting focus to the characters, and I'll say it again, that initial clip that they released online, it did not accurately represent the film. It gave the impression of potentially cringe-worthy acting throughout, which does not happen, thankfully. I must commend Marisa Abella and Jack O'Connell for their performances, which I believe were quite commendable. While there were some cringe-worthy moments sprinkled through, particularly at the beginning, also at the start of Marisa's portrayal of Amy, which initially felt a bit shaky, as the film progressed, I observed her growing stronger in the role, eventually embodying Amy Winehouse with remarkable closeness by the film's conclusion. Regarding the cinematography, there's not much that stands out in this movie. Yes, the film, it captures the essence of 2000s London with cool set designs and locate the locations that they visit and appropriate wardrobe choices, but yeah, there's nothing really that is spectacular cinematography-wise in this movie. Overall, this movie, it had the potential to celebrate Amy Winehouse's greatness. While it's important to acknowledge her past struggles in a biographical drama, glossing over the musical essence of Amy and the significance of Back to Black feels like a missed opportunity. And yeah, don't know why they did that. Therefore, I rate Back to Black a Lowry two and a half out of five stars thank you very much for watching this review if you've watched this movie let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on it don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more movie tv news and reviews i also have my new live stream show called the everything lowry show streaming once a week where i go through all of the entertainment news of the week that's it for this review and until my next video guys peace